welcome back. You're still watching Nile Cruise on uh, Nile TV International from the Coptic Museum. A very special episode celebrating Christmas here uh, in Egypt as we did celebrate it on the 7th of January uh, in the country for the Eastern Christians and of course from uh, different countries in uh, the world as well. Uh, at the Coptic Museum which was um, uh, inaugurated in uh, 1910, about 80, 90 years ago, uh, we will be uh, speaking more about the more important monuments or the most important monuments located at the Coptic Museum for today and the manuscripts and um, everything that uh, is here at the Coptic Museum with uh, Sara uh, Asar, the curator at the Coptic Museum. Thank you very much for being with us today. Welcome. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for, uh, for being here with us. And it is a very special place. It's the first time I come here. I'm not, I'm not sure yes, about you. Yes. Um, beautiful collections. So tell us about the special important collections. I believe all of them must be um, <laughs> that are being placed here at this Coptic Museum. First of all, our Coptic Museum was located here in Old Cairo, in the district of Old Cairo, behind the wall of Babylon Fortress from the Roman period. Uh, Morcos Semika Basha uh, founded it in 1910 um, by the donation from uh, Pope uh, Cyril V as uh, the donation for the land. Uh, and then in 1947, we have the new wing or new, the new building, and the, new, the oldest building in 1910, the newest building in 1947. We have here a lot of collections. Um, I think all of them uh, is wonderful and unique, but the most wonderful and unique was the tapestry from the masterpieces and the Psalms, the book of Psalms, the most oldest and the oldest and complete Psalm from the 4th century and it was found in the model uh, country in Banisweif. Uh, we have here also, we have here uh, wall paintings or mural painting, uh, paintings from the uh, monasteries of St. Germia and St. Apollo. We have a lot of icons. Most of them is unique, uh, like the panorama icon of the Holy Week and the uh, uh, St. Marcus icon, St. Mark icon. We have also... Um, uh, the icon of the uh, Holy Family, the tri trip of the Holy Family in Egypt. Um, I think also we have the Naga Hamadi Library. This was one of the most important libraries in Egypt. Uh, Sara, if we can speak about the second floor, it has um, very distinctive items, if we can speak about them. Uh, the most ancient uh, version of the Psalms, and, and we did see as well, different languages, written in different languages in Arabic and Aramic. Um, what about the importance of this? Does this mean that they were written in Egypt thousands of years ago, hundreds of years ago? What does it mean? Of course, uh, in Egypt we have a lot of writings mm. uh, from the old <coughs> ancient Egyptian periods. We have yes. the hieroglyphic, the hieratic, and the demotic. And the fourth writing is the Coptic. Mm -hmm. But it is now a language because it is the only writing which is speaking now right now mm. and this is a writing yes. and language for now mm -hmm. okay the coptic and we have a lot of bibles here in our coptic museum which is written in coptic only or arabic only or written by the two language mm -hmm. arabic and coptic yes. in one book yes. mm -hmm. the introduction is in arabic and mm -hmm. the rest of the book is in a different language no the no. rest of bo their book at whole in arabic and coptic as a translation. That's very interesting. Now, um, Sarah, as we entered uh, the Coptic Museum, it seems to be divided in a certain way. So tell us about the division or the way this museum is divided into how many sections, what does each section comprise and so forth. Our museum was divided in more than section and more than way. The first floor is in a chronological way from the first century AD to the seventh century. And the second floor is divided into two ways, a thematical way as a religious way, and the second way as uh, according to the materials of the artifacts. Yes, uh, there is a whole section 
uh, for the Coptic artifacts that uh, are being um, or having the idea of ancient Egypt as well. There's a section about that. What, what is the relation or the link between both of them? Um, the artist, in the Coptic artist, yes. was Egyptian mm -hmm. at all. Okay, and has the symbolic way in the ancient Egyptian way. Mm -hmm. They use the ancient Egyptian symbols, mm. like the um, Ankh yes. sign. The Ankh sign is an ancient Egyptian symbol in writing, which means the life. Mm -hmm. And they reuse this sign as a sign of the cross. Well, Sarah, I, I must. I mean, it's out of curiosity. I didn't get a chance to ask that earlier, Ahmed, but if we're going to talk about this location in particular, is this a section? What is this about? This section mm -hmm. contains uh, some architecture uh, pieces from St. Germia Monastery. Remains from this monastery. Um, and this was in Egypt? Yes, monastery. in Saqqara. Uh -huh. But it is not now here. It's only remains. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, behind us the crowns freezes and something means kelga mm -hmm. and this is a holding for the jars of water mm. uh, on the second floor I did see a painting of uh, Adam uh, and, and Eve, Eve before and, and after, after you got the a scene. chance to go to the second yes, floor I didn't yet yes. so tell us about <laughs> <that>. <laughs> the second floor in this hall uh -huh. we have religious paintings um, and before eating the forbidden fruit and after it? Yes, yes. before eating the fruit and Who after. Who painted it? Uh, uh, this come from al uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, who painted it? We didn't know. From Omul um Braget. Yes. Okay. The first scene or first register for Adam and Eve before eating from the fruit. Yes. The second register after they eat from the fruit. Mm -hmm. We have in the first register a horse which is tied for a tree, with yes. a tree. In the second register, we didn't find this horse. This horse, in some opinions, means the sins, which was tied. After they eat, this horse has spread, and the sins has spread also. Mm -hmm. And we will find in the second register the snake. Yes. Not the horse. And That's the very interesting. Uh, it sounds like a riddle. Is a symbol for the Satan, for the devil, for what? The demon. The devil. Interesting. The devil, yes. Well, we, we will be talking about this, yes. uh, right. Uh, but um, we want to, of course, thank you, Sara Esser, uh, curator at the Coptic Museum uh, here, located in Old Cairo. Thank you very thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. much. And stay tuned. We still are going to be covering, um, after this break, more about this museum in particular, the monuments, and, of course, the uh, depiction of Satan in the different forms <laughs> right after this statement. Thank you.